What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video guys on the channel and in today's video we are going to be analysing Manchester United's last game that we went and played against Newcastle at home guys where we have beaten Newcastle three goals to two. What an absolute comeback guys, we'll be talking about that more right now guys. Yes guys, Manchester United have made three changes from the last game against Valencia it was really two changes from the last game against West Ham. We started with De Gea, Young, Bailey, Smalling, Shaw, McTominay, Matic, Pogba, Rashford, Lukaku, Martial. In today's video, a little bit different. I've written down some questions on the iPad and I'll be answering those questions as well. Actually, gather my thoughts of what I thought of the first half and the second half. First half, I think coming into this game, we were going to be expecting, I think we we're expecting a very good fight with Newcastle. Now, Newcastle have not had the best of starts as well to the season, uh, and so have Manchester United. We haven't gone off with the best of starts, and so have Newcastle. So it's practically two teams having a good old scrap who has not had a good start to the season. It was pretty much of a shock where I saw Newcastle get two goals in 10 minutes. We knew what that was all down to. That was down to the defence. Again, just a struggle in that defence. It's just down to Young, Small and Bailey and Shaw as well. So it's just these minor mistakes that we're making in defence wise. And it just keeps happening, happening and happening in, in every single game, day in and day out. The defence never changes. It's always that defence and it just happens all the bloody time. So once we were 2-0 down, I thought, right, looking at this right now, Manchester United don't look like they're going to win this game. I don't think we're going to win it. We're going to definitely lose and drop out on three points again. Three important, crucial points that we really needed. But thankfully, we got that. First half was an absolute shambolic. I'm going to talk about the first half now for a couple of minutes of my thoughts. It was shambolic. We let Newcastle score on two counter-attacks where they had two throw-ins, which really frustrated me. Once we took off Bailey, I think it sort of did make an improvement during the game, that early substitution in the game. Was he injured? I'm not too sure. I think really it was tactical because he saw that Bailey just made two errors in defence. I have to feel sorry for McTominay though, of playing in centre-back. And he, I'm just going to say this, McTominay does not play as a centre-back. Doesn't play as a centre-back, so then he was sort of covering for Bailey. And then it sort of like changed the formation a little bit more as well. With probably uh, Pogba going more in a deeper role with the likes of Lukaku, Rashford and Martial. With Matic and Fellaini probably dropped back. First half, shambolic. We were all over the place defensive-wise. Just didn't seem to have a game plan in that first half. You could clearly see that they weren't playing for passion. They weren't playing for pride. They weren't playing for anything, really. They weren't playing for the shirt. Nothing, really. First half was awful. And obviously then a question that I've actually not written down. Obviously, you'll be probably wondering, coming from my perspective, Brett, what do you think that Mourinho said at half-time, at the half-time team talk? Well, I think it would have been one of those team talks when we were 2-0 down against Crystal Palace and also Man City. He would have said, who the f*** are you playing for? Look, look at the badge. Who are you playing for? You're playing for Manchester United. And then he would have said, do you do you want to get me sacked? Because there's been so many rumours out there that I could get the sack. And if you're not putting in a shift in, you're not playing for pride, you're not playing for passion, look at the club who you're playing for, you're not playing for the badge, what is this? So he's obviously got something out of the players. He's got the players to produce something in that second half, to create something in that second half, to stop creating chances and to put our chances away in the back of the net that we can actually take for once and score in the back of the net and get some points out of this game. I think that was what he probably said at half-time, really. Get our act together and we go out and we show who we are and we go and do out what, what, what I've just gone and told you what to do, you know. And then he's probably talked about some tactical things and obviously, yeah, it's just paid off. Second half, it was an improvement. We showed an absolute improvement. We were 
playing for pride, we're playing for passion, we're playing for the badge, we're playing for the shirt, everything. Uh, we show great potential. We we're playing under Mourinho's tactics, his game plan, what he had in the second half to come, to come from 2-0 down to win this game 3-2. And if we stuck by that, we were going to win the game. When you have one of those rants at half time, it doesn't really always work. At the end of the day, it does work when you're 2-0 down to a side that's in the relegation zone and that got ourselves. We woke up, we smelt the roses, did what we needed to do. Once that first goal came, I knew that it was, a ve it was very crucial in that game. Once the first goal came from Juan Mata, Mata puts in a great free kick uh, for 2-1. Oh, I was buzzing because once you get that first goal, it opens up the game and we've got the confidence of to score a goal and we know how it feels like. Once we've done that, we knew, right, okay, we've got that first goal now. It's like another 25 minutes to go of, of this game. We get another goal. Pogba passed it to Martial. Martial passed it back to Pogba. Pogba flicks it to Martial and Martial slots it in for 2-2. Two -two. So at that point, we were over the absolute moon. We had about 15 minutes to get another goal. So there was still so much time in that game to get a result. We got that result and we showed who Manchester United was. Everyone was absolutely buzzing and that, that shows who the real Manchester United is. The last couple of weeks, that has not been happening. Mourinho hasn't got that out of the players, but he's got that out of the players. They produced, they created, they combined it all that together and they got a result out of it. We carry on like that now. In the next few weeks, we start training hard. We have that belief in that squad. We keep motivated. We have that desire in that team now. We have that potential of going forward now and getting scoring more goals for absolute <laughs> fun. We can do this now, Reds, because this now is like a get-go. We've woke up, we've smelled the roses, and we can go out there. We can show who the real Manchester United is now. We can show who we are. And that, with the last 25 minutes or something, the last 20, 25 minutes was the real Manchester United. That has not come in the last couple of weeks. And I know I might have just repeated that. We knew we were back in the game at 2-2. Two -two, and then my dad called it and said Sanchez was going to score. My dad was f***ing right because he was right. Third goal, Pogba passed it to Young. Young puts in a great cross into Sanchez and Sanchez heads it in for three, two. I was over the moon, guys. Like, literally, the roof of this house was literally gonna come off. I was so happy that we got the result. Honestly, we have not shown that in the last couple of weeks. And now in that game, we have just shown who the real Manchester United is. And thank God we've got three points on the board. And thank God we have produced something like that as well. I've written down a few questions on here. I've written down a few questions on my iPad uh, of the game, really. And so instead of analysing the game, we're going to be talking about the game and also answering a few questions, what you guys would probably ask me. So obviously the first obvious one would be, what do I make of the result? Fantastic result. We needed a result uh, to come away with like this. We seriously needed a game plan. His tactics were right in the second half. We got, we did all that. And at the end of the day, it just, it's just perfect. It shows that now we can put our foot down on the gas and we just need that belief in the squad and we can keep fighting now. And we just need to keep doing what we need to do. And we just need to train hard, work hard and just let's go for it, you know, and just give it everything. And we had nothing to lose in that second half as well. How was I feeling when United were 2-0 down? Complete shock. I was complete in disbelief. I was thinking to myself... Like all the Newcastle fans were probably thinking like, wow, what the fuck's this? We've not seen this in the last recent weeks. We've scored two goals at Old Trafford. Where was that, you know? But to be fair, as a Manchester United fan, I was obviously expecting them to score anyway because the last recent weeks we haven't been performing well. The defence has been shocking, but we still know it needs to be improved in the next recent weeks. We now go into the international break. We're full of confidence now. And we just need to regroup and go again against Chelsea now. What did United do differently in the second half? I think we played with pride. We played with passion. 
we played for the badge just our way round and that's how we played. We stuck to Mourinho's tactics, his game plan, what he said in that second half and how we could obviously start scoring goals and you know we needed to create something, we needed to produce something. It wasn't only just the substitutes that worked as well, it was due to the mentality of the squad as well that we've got now. We knew that we had to be physically and mentally prepared for this game. Mentally, we weren't in the first half. Secondly, we came out mentally prepared. We knew what needed to come our way, and that just happened. It just clicked for us like that within 45 minutes. It was a big 45 minutes. We absolutely gave it everything. We had nothing to lose. We just went for it. We came away with the big three points, and I was just so happy that we came away with the big three points with Newcastle with a struggling Newcastle inside now who hasn't even got a win yet so if we keep going now and put our foot on the gas it shows that we've got our confidence back up now finally it's just come our way you know finally and now another question is going to be how do we keep being more consistent we just need to fight and we just need to have that belief in the squad now we just need that belief from Jose Mourinho now and he can now motivate his squad and say to like the likes of Pogba, Fellaini, De Gea, Lukaku, Sanchez, Martial, he can go and say to them, you fucking played well, keep it up. We need that again against Chelsea. And obviously the final question, does this mean Jose Mourinho in? Well, obviously the last few days, there's been rumours that he was going to get the sack. No matter what the result was going to be, he was going to get the sack. But looking at Ed Woodward, he was clapping Jose Mourinho at the end of the game. Quite amusing to see Woodward and the board not having that great relationship with Jose Mourinho in the last few, few weeks. But does this mean is Jose Mourinho back on? Do we need to give him time? I think we do. I think we just need that belief and I think that belief is probably coming back for us now. But at the end of the day, we've got a result. We really needed it. We got that result. We come away with the big three points which we needed. Big, big, big three points that we needed. We got that. We did that. Job done, you know, at the end of the day. Just, I'm one happy man. One happy video. I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. But anyway, let's talk about the players that got substituted. Well, Bailey went off a matter in the first half. Talk about Bailey's performance. He was substituted off 17 minutes with Newcastle 2-0 up. His positioning was airy for both goals, but his removal may be harsh. McTominay went off for Fellaini. Talk about McTominay's performance. Lucky to have lasted the first half. Struggled throughout and was never going to settle down the defence. Not up to his level. Backing up on that, McTominay is a tall defender. He kept on making too many mistakes in being as a centre back. He's not. A, he's not a centre back. But again, it just goes to show. Completely dropped McTominay. He's too young. He's not experienced. I know he kept on playing him last year, but because we brought in the likes of Fred, he sat him out on the bench this time, trying to give McTominay a time to shine, a time to say to Mourinho, play me more. But clearly not. But I feel sorry for him because I don't think he was physically and mentally prepared for this game. Just goes to show, really. Also, Rashford went off for Sanchez. I don't have it resting on my iPad, but I'm just going to have to go what I think. Uh, Rashford wasn't one of his best performances. We still need more out of Rashford. I don't know what's affecting his game. Is it because he's got given number 10? Or is it just because he's just not playing well at his standard? I think it will appear to the others that he didn't really play well. My man of the match, who do I have to give it to? I think I'm going to have to give it to... There's so many that played well. There was, I think, Sanchez. I think I'm just going to have to give it Sanchez. But the uh, last goal for us, and at the end of the day, we were the better side. We deserved it more. We were up for it. And we just come away with the three points. And it is what it is. Newcastle won't be happy with that. At the end of the day, we won. Next game is Chelsea, guys. I think Chelsea is going to be one hell of a game to come across because Chelsea, yes, they've got a new manager, but they've been getting results under Sarri. They've got a game tonight against Southampton. They'll most likely win that, but if they don't, then there must be something wrong with the team, but they most likely will win the game. I think we're going to be have to be physically and mentally prepared for this game. 
We cannot be making several defensive errors. We have to really cut them out against Chelsea because Chelsea are a side that are hungry. They'll be wanting to win this game massively because it's at Stamford Bridge. We'll have to be physically and mentally prepared for Chelsea in the next few weeks. There's now an international break. It's now England over on the weekend, so I'm looking forward to that. We just really need to put our foot on the gas now. We need to have that belief and we need to show that we're, we're playing for passion, we're playing for pride, we're playing for the badge. Now we've got that confidence back in the team. Thank God it's just coming our way now. Hope you guys have enjoyed another video. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I'll see you guys in a video in the next couple of weeks. And peace.